the book of Isaiah chapter chapter 35 verse 8 it is written a highway not an ordinary way do you want to travel in a highway all thing fast fast you want to do many things in your life fast fast there is one way he says a highway shall be there and the road and it shall be called the highway of holiness the highway of holiness where where you will never be never be attacked by anybody hesekia is a servant of god god did many many great things in his life but hesekia was not a, a man of awareness he was sick he was almost dying and he cried to god god healed him god said to uh, hesekia five things number 1 your god hears your prayer number 2 god has seen your tears number 3 god is telling you will not die now number 4 he has added 15 more years to you number 5 you are looking towards jerusalem within 2 to 3 days you will get up and go to jerusalem what a instant deliverance he is dying with the cancer and the lord said to isaiah to go and bring some fig fruits and he put it on his over that's all the man caught up the enemy comes in the form of sickness and esekia is crying god delivered him but having delivered god now tells him the evil people are around you having delivered you should deliver your people from all the bondages and that is possible if you remain holy if you are defiled the enemy will come and defile you that's what he will did to daniel in daniel chapter 1 verse 8 in order to now daniel is going to be a mighty weapon in babylon among the enemies how through the life of holiness life of holiness means again i repeat be moving around the presence of god take care of yourself that my whole life my thoughts my emotions moves around the presence of god moves around the will of god where the enemy has no space to enter in it is there the enemy cannot touch me and that's what daniel also did like hesekia which hesekia did not learn daniel he learned so the enemy is coming in a very good form they are coming in the form of friend, the man who is in charge of again look you are supposed to eat the chicken mutton beef all that is given for you different style chicken 64 694 all that huh? it is kept for you and then look these drinks so different variety huh? all this available for you and you are to eat nicely and be grateful to the king all rosy 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 inside you drink all that stop praying drink all the once you begin to drink as the book of proverbs chapter 23 says your mind will be last if you drink what will happen will go through that also because that is also important these days for so many people are going through that kind of struggle so we'll go through that also once chapter 23 we read who has woe verse 29 onwards who has sorrow who has contention who has complain who has wounds without cause who has redness of eyes those who linger long at the wine 
those who go in search of mixed wine do not look on the wine when it is red when it sparkles in the cup when it swirls around smoothly and at last it will bite you like a serpent and it will sting like a viper your eyes will see strange things and your heart will speak perverse things yes you will be like the one who lies down in the midst of the sea or like the one who lies at the top of the mast saying they have struck me but i have not hurt they have beaten me but i did not feel it when shall i get up and go have another drink how through the drinks the enemy defiles the body and enters into that man and destroys his whole life his in another place it is written the man who drinks destroys his own generation yes how through drinks through unholy first to make the man unholy and then he destroys that man that's what we read in this book same thing happened to now what we have read in the book of i say that is seven of hesekia so when he has said so much of deliverance from cancer and he is going to live for 15 years what is he supposed to do he is supposed to recognize the lord who has healed him and enter into holiness meaning enter into the presence of god celebrating the presence of god that's why in the book of safania chapter 3 verse 15 it is written the lord is amidst us so you will see destruction no more when the lord is with you the enemy cannot come near you that is called the holiness holiness means does mean that you have to be holy holy act right or you have to do something no holiness means basically moving with the presence of god moving in the company of god doing the will of god preparing oneself building up oneself whether i talk whether i eat as we read in um first corinthian chapter 10 verse 31 whatever you do eat or drink glorify god in everything that is you built up your life like that now having received so much of healing and deliverance suddenly he hears the babylonians are coming why they are coming to see how great the god of esekia he knew of glorifying god as soon as the babylonians come he is acting come 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 what do you want he want to please them he want to make them to sit to over instead of keeping the lord above he is now keeping the enemies and he goes and shows them out look i have this gold look silver the prophet isaiah came to him and said stupid guy who healed you who brought you out your mighty god merciful savior and you have no grace to honor him when the enemies came it is my lord who healed me i tell you what all you showed the same enemy will carry them all from you god gives us deliverance that we will deliver people we will magnify the lord we will move into holiness that's what happened to daniel when they said you drink all this eat he said i'm sorry he kept up his holiness he 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 is not willing to defile himself means he is not willing to do anything that will hurt the presence of god that is in him that is called holiness holiness means to preserve to move around with the lord that's why the lord said the enemy is coming behind me but he has no power over me john 14 30 he said the ruler of the world is coming behind me but he has no power over me because i move in the presence of the father 